So today is a really, really exciting day. We are finally going to get our new puppy. Uh, this has been a long time in the works. Um, we had a dog uh, that passed away, what, about four years ago? Yeah, so um, his name was Scout. You guys really never met him on the vlog, but he was a huge German Shepherd and we absolutely loved him and um, so about four years later we're finally ready for another dog and uh, so we are finally heading to get a, a new puppy and uh, it's gonna be a big change for our family. Are you excited about a puppy? I'm so excited. I like did not expect this soon but I'm super excited. Boys look really excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. So it has been a long time since I've had a puppy, almost 20 years, so 18, 20 years since I've had a puppy, and Jessica and the kids have never had a puppy like this, so we're, we're trying to remember all the things that go along with puppy proofing and the, the strategies for training and all that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, this is going to be, <laughs> we're realizing this is going to be a lot of work, but we are really looking forward to it, I think, I think. I know, I am. I, Jessica may have instant regrets over this, so I'm not sure. After about an hour long drive, we arrived at our puppy pickup destination. We'd been on a list for a puppy from this breeder since before COVID started. However, we only had about a week's notice that our number was up and we could pick up our puppy. We decided at the very beginning that we would name him Captain. To say it was love at first sight just doesn't cover it. He was so cute and fluffy and sweet, how could you not fall instantly in love with him? We sure did. After lots of petting and licking, it was time to bring our new puppy home. Right. Meet Captain. We're gonna go home and get him settled in now. So, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm such a, I'm such a like a little gush for little puppy German shepherds. They're just so cute. All right, buddy. You ready to go home? You ready to go home? All right, let's go home. We got him loaded into the car, and the kids took turns with him on their laps. So cute! Oh no! You said you had a good boy. I said you said. He's a little nervous about his car ride, but that's to be expected. He's never been in a car before, so we've got about an hour ride home, so we're just gonna stay calm and keep him cuddled up, and we'll see you at the house. Once home, we gave Captain lots of space to explore and play. We made sure to give him lots of treats, which were just bits of his dog food, to help make sure he was having a really positive experience. He had a great time exploring his new home, but his absolute favorite thing was finding new shoelaces to snack on. Everyone just loved Captain to death. Well, almost everyone. Leia, our cat, was less than thrilled at this new intruder that we brought home to her. Ironically, on her birthday. So, happy birthday, Leia. Here's a puppy. She was not amused. 
Obviously, we had to start getting him used to being outside so we could start house training. Outside was even more adventures and sticks. Lots of sticks. Sticks are the best. Running is good too, and so cute. Back inside and it's time to play. Of course, the week we got him would be the week that it decided to rain virtually nonstop for four days. So taking him out to potty was, well, not fun. Especially at 2 a.m. in the cold, dark, and rain. But hey, that's what we do, right? Embrace the suck. Come. Once the weather cleared up, it was back to playing outside again. He mastered being crate trained really quickly, maybe two days, and he's already gotten pretty good with sit and come. We're working on lay down and some other fun tricks. Leia is still not happy. It's been about three weeks since Captain came home to us and she still isn't happy about it at all. But she's curious, she watches him like a hawk and from time to time gets pretty brave with her curiosity but in the end, I think she'd still prefer that he was somewhere else. We're also working on playing without nipping too hard. Baby teeth are sharp, and while he doesn't mean it, he's drawn blood a few times, particularly on ankles. But he's a shepherd, and that's part of their instinct, so it'll just take time. Some of Captain's favorite games are Tug of War and What Is Daddy Saying? While we were outside one day, he discovered one of the kids' Nerf balls. It's his ball now. He's the captain, and the captain has claimed it. After a full day of playing in the yard and some mud left over from the rain, Captain needed his first bath, and he handled it like a champ, mostly. Alright, so I'm going to wrap up the video here, but it has been about a month since we got Captain and, you know, that's just the way it happens in YouTube world sometimes. Sometimes you start a video and you're just not able to finish it. By the time I was able to get around to finishing this video, little man has grown. You can see him. He's been having a blast. He's done a lot of stuff. Captain, come. Come. He's learned really well. So he's gotten like three times bigger. I've had to change the notches on his collar twice. He's now outgrown his collar. I'm gonna to have to get him a new one. <sighs> he's getting so big, but he's doing really well. We've had some adventures. We've even gone camping together, and uh, that's actually in the next video. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and you can see our, our very first overlanding adventure where we took this guy with us, and uh, it, was, it was pretty fun. But anyway, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think of Captain? I'd love to know. Talk to you soon. We'll see you later. Peace.